Hello everybody, thanks for coming back to have a look at Art by Emma Burton. Today we're going to have a look at a canvas and how to re-shrink it if you've realised the canvas is a bit saggy or you've got it home and there's a slight dent in it. Um, obviously if you're doing acrylic pouring or even painting actually, the last thing you want is your paint to not sit nice and flat on the canvas. As you can see by this one, this is really saggy. I've stretched it quite a bit, sticking my thumb through the back. See how floppy it is. Okay, so you've probably got an idea now of what I'm going to do. I'm over a sink. Please be ultra careful here. You are using hot water, not just hot water, boiling water. Um, so you really need to be careful. I've done this quite a few times, so um, you know, I'm experienced in doing it, but you're going to get steam and um, and you're using boiling water, so be careful. So I'm using the scissors here because I really want to push in um, and make a, a dent even more so. Um, see how far I can push this. And after this time, I'm going to do something else with the scissors. So you take your boiling water, literally on the back of the canvas, pour it over and straight off. Don't leave the water to sink in. This is a brand new canvas. I've stretched it, I've pulled it, I've pushed it, I've stuck my thumb in it, I've stuck the handles of scissors in it. Um, yeah, and, and, and that was a saggy canvas. Brand new, not used, saggy canvas. So I poured the water straight on the back and, and straight off. As you can see, the canvas has literally shrunk back and is tight. Because the canvas is wet, I don't want to actually push it too hard, but um, it's more like a drum now than a, a flapping bed sheet. <laughs> um, yeah, that will not take too long to dry at all um, because it hasn't got any paint on it. It's just the canvas as bought from the shop. But it's, it's, better than it was when I bought it. It's really tight and when they're dry, they're, they're so lovely and flat. As long as your frame's flat, they're lovely and flat, flat. Sorry, excuse me. Okay, so this one, as you can see, this one's been painted on. Um, I didn't like what was on there, so I washed it off. Um, um, just showered it off. Um, but you can see with the paint on the back, it has been used. And I'm taking now, <laughs> I'm really going to give it some, the point of the scissors. So I'm just going to almost score it, but I don't want to actually damage the, the canvas itself to make it irreparable. I want to push a really big dent in it, which I've done, as you can see. Now you can see on both sides, there is a line, a very clear line here. It's made the canvas stick up and um, it's really pushed those threads apart and it happens you know we're in the shop or we're putting everything in the car or in the cart or you know in the trolley or the basket grab your kettle folks watch a bit of magic here we go over straight on tip it straight off now I always try to cover the back of the canvas you know, turn it around maybe, make sure you get into those corners because then it will tighten the whole canvas, not just the area that's sagged. And now you'll be able to see when I turn it round, you are left with a mark. The mark will be painted over, but that's the mark. But actually the canvas itself has shrunk back. You don't have any more dents. The canvas is nicely taut, great for pouring, great for really thick, heavy paint. Um, it really gives a nice substantial um, tightness to the canvas. I mean, you can see that's flat. That's, it's just, this is an amazing trick, amazing tip for you to use. Um, so, you know, don't, don't ever give up on a can, unless it's got a hole in it. Do try this trick. Hopefully, you'll be surprised. Thanks for watching. Please do hit that like button and come back and visit me again soon.